Now the cresting ceremony we have today is a culmination of our ITC. In spirit, it's not unlike other ceremonies intended to mark a transition that brings someone into a special fold. Today we have a transition that takes young men and women from being an MMI recruit to becoming an MMI cadet and joining another kind of corps, our Corps of Cadets, through the awarding of the MMI crest. The Corps of Cadets has a long and storied history that stretches back 142 years. To become part of this Corps is truly something special. And today we have another fine group of young men and women who are about to join the MMI Corps of Cadet legacy. And I'd like to say to each and every one of them that I know it's been an exhausting past few weeks. I know it's been challenging as you adapt to the new living conditions, as you adapt from being away from home, some of you maybe for the first time for such a long time, and as you adapt to this whole new world that we call college and the academic challenges that that presents. So as you receive your press today, you will receive something to be proud of, something to be honored, something to be respected, and something that you will cherish for the rest of your life. Your crest is your admission to the MMI Corps of Cadets and to a family that includes thousands upon tens of thousands of highly successful military and civilian MMI alumni who have passed through the doors of this great and historic institution and who have worn this very same crest. Becoming part of the Corps and the MMI experience will become in many ways, and as has for those before you, a defining moment in your lives. All you have to do is stay the course. All you have to do is finish what you have started here. All you have to do is succeed, and all you have to be is what you ought to already be as an American. Proud, successful, good, one who believes in being the very best, one that cherishes the idea of excellence, and one who never, ever gives up. Congratulations again, and remember that together you are all one, and together you will all succeed. Welcome to your new family and to your link to the future. Welcome to MMI and welcome to the MMI Corps of Cadets. Thank you all. As a result of your hard work, today you earn the right to wear the MMI crest. But before it is presented to you, let me take this opportunity to review its meaning. Our crest was adopted over 100 years ago and is rooted in the crest of the University of Virginia and University of Pennsylvania. At the top are three flags. The American flag is centered and flanked by the Alabama State flag and the MMI flag. Immediately below the flags are the eagle's wings symbolizing protection. Gold is the color of generosity. Truth, honor, service are MMI's core values. Shields are traditional for press and in general mean protection for anyone who wears it by all fellow members and the things they represent. 1842 is the year the school was founded. The upper portion of the shield has the top of the red St. Andrew's cross which represents Alabama's flag. Red represents military strength. Only the top shield is shown as in foundational. The ribbon is blue to signify truth and loyalty and includes the words Mary Military Institute flanked with four stars on either side. The lower portion of the shield consists of two parts. The lamp is borrowed from the University of Virginia and represents light, life, and spirituality. The book is borrowed from the University of Pennsylvania and symbolizes education and manifestation. So look around and be proud of your accomplishments today as we formally introduce you as cadets for the first time. Today you join a long line of outstanding men and women from all corners of the nation, all backgrounds, all faiths, and all races. Each came here as an individual, but all are now part of a team, a family, and a great fraternity. Many of our peers back home lack the motivation, drive, courage to better themselves, but not us. 
It makes me proud to train alongside a Corps whose members have the self-discipline and motivation to pursue their aspirations as future leaders. Regardless of what success awaits us all, know that its roots are founded here at Mary Military Institute. To each of you, I say congratulations and welcome. Caitlin Morrison. Sumana Sise. Shane Garcia. Joshua Graham. Trevor Mickles. Thank you. 